Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium, next video 365 Day Magic Challenge. Something completely new for the Magic Challenge today. We're going to do a live performance of a trick done out in the field, mixed with the product review. The reason being is because this product, you need a man and a woman to do the trick with. You need both. And I don't have any men and women at the same time who can come into Bob's Magic Emporium and, uh, and film this video with me. So we're going to do a live performance today, and I'm going to do the product review. So today's performance is of David Regal's Mind Ball. I'm going to review the trick after you watch this live performance. So take a look at, uh, this was shot at Thanksgiving last Thursday. Take a look. I guess I'll record. So I'm going to let you pick a card. I'm going to say stop. You need my light. Right, right there. That's going to be your card. You take a look at it. And don't show anybody else. Just show yourself. Damon, okay. tell me stop whenever you want. Stop. Right there. That's going to be your card. You take that. Don't show anybody else. Show yourself. Now, uh, I have in here something that's uh, new. Anybody know what this is? Yeah. It is? Magic people. Actually, it's a mind ball. See, it has the infinity symbol, not an eight. What you do, this works like a magic eight ball. You give it a little shake, you look down, and it's going to tell you what you're thinking. You got it right. You got it right. <laughs> so we're going to do ladies first. You just shake it, look down, you'll see a little prediction inside of there. I want you to think of your card. So okay. go ahead and give that a little shake. And let's see what it says. The man has the two. Okay, is this because I'm not the man? So she uh, wait a minute. What's that? Anyways, what's that say? Anyways. The man has the two hearts. Wait, wait. You're thinking of your card, aren't you? What is your card? Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Oh, I think the mind ball is reading somebody else's mind here. You take the mind ball. That is the two of hearts. That's really cool. Give it a shake. And turn it up and look inside and see what it says. The man has two of hearts. Stop thinking of your card. It's, <laughs> she's thinking of hearts. Give it a shake again. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Now what's it say? The man has two of hearts. I told you stop thinking of your card. Give it a shake. <laughs> Actually, turn it upside down, shake it, and then turn it back the other way. That might work. And don't think of your card, by the way. Alright, turn it back over. We'll see what it says. Not impressed. Now who's thinking not impressed? Come on, this is pretty good. <laughs> Give it a shake again. I'm sorry. Let's pick on somebody else's thoughts here. The man has two of hearts. <laughs> Pick it over your card. Try it again. Shake it again. Shake it again. All right. Turn it over. The man has two of hearts. Are you kidding? Wait a minute. No, All right, is it really? No, that's the hand. Okay, hand. Give it the magic <laughs> touch here. All right. Go ahead. Turn it over. That should work now. Not impressed. Who is thinking that? I know it's not impressive because it keeps coming with the same card. <laughs> People might think it's the same card. Shake it again. And it is really saying all this. It's not. You're not just making this up, right? Okay. I want to make sure. I want to verify for the camera. Man has the two of hearts, right? Yes! Love tech, love my props. Give it a shake again. This is not a technical glitches here. Okay. What the? Not exactly Houndin. Wait. What? Houdini. Oh, yeah. Not exactly Houdini. I'm not about exactly Houdini, but you don't have to rub it in. Alright. Try it now. Man has two of hearts. Wow! I have never had this happen before. Okay, wait a minute. You know what? I'm going to let you hold it this time. I think it's picking up on his. He's got too much thoughts going on of cards. Uh, the man has two of hearts. No, <laughs> yes! That's awesome. I'm Not fast. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. Oh, I do see a diamond. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The women, it should say the woman has, no, is it going? The lady has the jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds, is that your card? Mm -hmm. All right, finally, your thoughts are all cleared out now. <laughs> and that was. All right, so you just saw the live performance for David Regal's Mind Ball. Now, I do want to say the trick didn't somewhat work. I'll go into all that in a moment. Now, uh, the trick might have been a little hard to follow in the, video. So I'm going to tell you what happened in the trick. Um, two cards are selected, one by a, a, a male, uh, in this case was a boy, and uh, in uh, and by a female, a lady or a woman or, or a girl or whatever. And uh, what you do is you bring out this thing and you say, what is this? Everyone always says it's a magic eight ball. 
and you say, no, it's the Mystic Mind Ball. It doesn't have an 8 on it. It's got an infinity symbol. That's what that is in the center there. And then you talk about how it's going to read your mind. So uh, you start. With, I always start with the lady, and you say, all right, ma'am, I'll go ahead and shake this up and think of your card and turn it over. And it's going to give the, like in the video, it's going to say the man has the two of hearts or the lady has the jack of diamonds. I, I actually perform the trick wrong, too, because normally what you would do is you'd have the lady show the man the card and the lady wouldn't look at it. And same thing for the man would show the lady, but the man wouldn't look at it. I forgot to do that in the performance. But the way I did it still works, too. And then also, besides it telling you the spectator selected cards, it also will bring something up like it'll say, um, I left my oven on, or it will say, like it said in the performance, not impressed. Now, I have performed this trick a handful of times, probably over a dozen. So I'd say probably 15 or 16 times I performed this mind ball. That was, that was the first time that those two predictions kept coming up every single time. That's why the trick really didn't work. Uh, I'll go into more about that in a second, but I've never had that happen where it kept coming up, the man has the two of hearts every single time. And you notice that the boy in the video was shaking it like this kind of hard. I was shaking it hard. The woman was shaking it hard. And uh, even and was shaking it lightly in all different directions. And it still kept coming up with the same predictions every single time. That is the one thing that I don't like about the mind ball trick. Uh, first of all, it's about, 50, I think it's like $55, so you're, but you're getting a nice quality infinity magic eight ball kind of thing. You don't have any control as to what comes up. And as it, per the performance video, it kept coming up with the man has the two of hearts every single time. Or it came up with the words, not impressed. It didn't come up with any other predictions until the very last time when it came up with the lady has the jack of diamonds. That is not a good part of this trick because, you know, the trick dragged on because of that fact that it kept coming up with the man has the two of hearts. Um, and, or it kept coming up with um, not impressed. Now, granted, you can hear the people laughing in the background as, as you watch my misery and as you watch the same prediction come up every single time. Now, the bad thing about that is, is no one see, this is the first time I performed this for my family, for my, all my family at Thanksgiving. And uh, the problem with this was, is somebody might think it always says that, you know, there's only three predictions inside of here or something like that. Uh, the bad thing is it didn't come up with any of the other predictions. Like one of them says mildly curious. You shake it again. It might say magic is sexy or I feel dumb. And it's like I didn't get any of those to come up. That is the bad thing about this mind ball is if, if, if you have no control over what predictions come up when or if a joke comes up or if the prediction comes up. It would be nice if there was some way, like if you could shake the ball a certain direction, like maybe diagonal, diagonally like this, and you turn it over and it comes up with a joke, and then maybe you shake it in a circle and it comes up with the prediction. That would be a little bit better. If you could control when each, uh, what comes up. Now, granted, if you have a quick, and I've actually done the mind ball trick once before, where you shake it, turn it over, boom, it's the man's card, the two of hearts, shake it again, and it was the lady's card. And there were no one-liner jokes in here that came up. So, the thing with the mind ball trick is, I do like it if it works. Uh, normally, when I perform this a couple times, too, I've gotten a joke, the prediction, another joke, and then the final prediction, the final card. And I like that when there's like, when like you hand it off to a woman and she'll shake it and it comes up with magic is sexy. And then you do something like, I know what you're thinking. And then she shakes it again and it comes up with her card. And then the man takes it, he shakes it and, he, and it says, I feel dumb. And it's like, sir, change your thoughts. You know, it's better when it comes up with jokes instead of doing the same thing over and over again. And I wasn't playing, and, and that was real too. But I want to let everybody know in the video that was real. Um, I, I didn't plan that. I didn't stage that. They weren't even in on the trick. Every time they shook it, it came up with that. So that's the only thing I didn't like about the trick. Uh, but I do recommend actually going out and picking this up because I like this trick when it works. 
when you shake it, and either you get the, the, the revelation of the cards on the first two shakes, or you get a couple jokes and then the revelation. But if it, but this is the first time it actually dragged on forever, and I didn't like that about the trick. So the trick can be hit or miss. I mean, you, and you gotta, th and this is also an improv trick. So you gotta think quick on your feet with this trick because when a joke comes up, you gotta have a, a, a comeback for it. So like the um, the um, one that kept coming up. Uh, not impressed on that video, I had to come up with a bunch of extra one-liners. I think David Regal gives you uh, one one-liner for each of the jokes that come up in here, but if it keeps coming up like that, you got to think of some extra one-liners. So, um, you know, so you got to be quick on your feet with this trick, too, when the jokes come up. But other than that, I like the trick, David Regal's Mind Ball. I recommend picking it up. It's a really, really great trick. So definitely pick up David Regal's Mind Ball from your local magic dealer because I actually like it. I think it's a really great trick when it works correctly and doesn't drag on. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Magic Challenge video. I have a jack, and I also have three tens. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the jack and we're going to sandwich it right in. Of course, you get the, the two tubes and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the bottles. He was on a roll with hole-in-one. Not only did he sink the putt on his first shot, but he also got the $500.